Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the saddle with Geralt. Off to defend the faith, whatever that means. It's a long old trip across Valen. Hopefully we'll see some interesting things on the way. I'm going to try and get rid of some of these question marks. Whatever they might be. I'm not so sure about this, this is like quite swampy. And the horse controls are still terrible. Nice scenery though. That's one of the major criticisms leveled at The Witcher, I suppose. Like, it's hard to criticise such a great game, but, um... Go away, bloody wolves. Level 5 wolves, come on. It's, um... I mean, in terms of character progression, there's very little point in all these side quests existing. The vast, vast majority of progression, in terms of, you know, experience and all that kind of stuff, is done through the main quest. And I suppose it's designed for players that realise they haven't got 2,000 hours to spend with this and don't want to do every single quest. Which I can totally understand, so you could skip all those and just not be penalised too much. I suppose we're doing this more for the flavour, get into the kind of atmosphere. Wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Huh. Not sure why the map opened there. I do like the way the world doesn't just sort of end. There's no set edge to it, you know, it just sort of carries on. It just warns you that you're going off the map. Can you please not do that, wolves? Come on. Better things to do. Slash wolves for half an hour. Welcome to High Priest. These guys aren't even hurting me. I don't know why the horse is so scared. Ooh, what's this up here? That looks exciting. Well, her is here as well, excellent. Take it easy. A destroyed Bastion. Well, the Overwatch fans won't be too happy with that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll come back to this. <laughs> Level 19. We'll get a few more levels before we attempt to do this bit. There's some kind of wyvern there or something as well. I mean, you're, what are you, 14? That's legit. <laughs> yep, uh, I'm pretty sure that's how horses move in real life. Never ridden one, but makes sense. Oh dear. Don't forget, these guys started off, they couldn't even afford an engine. When they started this, uh, oh, hello. Is that it? These these guys couldn't even afford an engine when they started off making these obscure Eastern European fantasy games. So they borrowed the Neverwinter Nights 2 engine, which is already really old at the time. It's only like five years old. Ever since then, they've done their own engine. What's the back of the success of the first game? But are you going to attack me? Yeah, these guys are. A little bit too high level. Let's keep going. Yeah, so they've done their own engine since then. You're not old. It's, it's really hard to see where the edge of the map is. This is the disadvantage of doing it like this. It's, uh, I just kind of want to go to the yellow marker on the minimap. Uh, the engine does suffer from various horse related physics yeah this is getting annoying now like how do you know that's the edge of the map horse related physics issues I'm gonna go on foot because this horse horse riding is really annoying me
game that has worse horse physics. Yeah, but the thing is about this game, the redeeming quality about this game, is that they're not selling you armor for your horse, which costs real money. Don't forget about that. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a massive pain in the ass. Ooh, that looks pretty big. Look, I'd, f I'd fix your damn shrines if I could get to them without accidentally going off the edge of the map. I I'm basically going back the way I came here. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't get up there. Still going the wrong way. It's quite a sizable mountain range, really. I'm, I'm sort of glad you can leave your horse behind, you don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, I know it's Oblivion with the horse armour. Oh, I don't really want to fall off there. Alright, let's go back even further then. Yeah, this is not good. Like, a lot of the map's beautiful, you know, really well designed, but this is just... This is... The only, the only consequence of this is to annoy the player. Uh, it doesn't add anything to the game. I should have thought about this more carefully. I didn't know I had stream quality. Didn't know that was a thing. Hello. What's all this? Yeah, officially, like, stream quality options are, on Twitch at least, are limited. They are limited to, um, sort of people who've got a subscribe button. But I've seen people without a subscribe button have them occasionally. I might be sounding a little bit strange this evening. I just I don't know what it is. I've got a really badly swollen lip. I think I've I've either got stung by something and not noticed on the lip, which is kind of like, well, how would you not notice that? Or some kind of weird allergy or something? I don't know. Like one side of my face is about twice as big as it should be. Ow! Lost your nerve. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two more. Right, hang on. <laughs> you just call me a witch fucker. That's a bit rude. Set you on fire then. I really should not be taking that much damage against some level 9s. Right, he seems to have survived my fire. And now you've got no hand. Let's loot all this stuff. I like that, just you know, random encounters like that. The only options on Twitch are auto and source. That's probably because I'm not at a very high bit rate, you know, like it's 1500, it's not... I can't go much lower, really. Uh, huh, master crossbow there. It's kind of nice. Interesting painting. Are they art thieves or something? Right, where was that crossbow? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's two percent better. Let's use that then. Out. Yeah, I didn't like that about armor three, and I don't like that about this. It's like you, you can basically conjure a massive blast of fire. But if you step in a tiny little cigarette lighter, it really hurts. How far have we got to go on the water? Might as well get the boat out for this. Yeah, let's get the boat out for this. 
before we after we loot all these guys. Oh my god! Oh, oh, wasn't quite what I had in mind. Can I not use that? Is that not a boat that I can use? Maybe it's not a boat that I can use. I can. <laughs> yep. Ah, physics. Okay. Well, we can't use that boat. Fair enough. Is there a boat nearby? Nearby, I should say. No. Well, this is partly exploration anyway, so let's head south. Yeah, so like anyone who's having bandwidth problems, you, you fr you're free to check out YouTube as well, just in case the... Uh, you know, you might have a lower quality option on YouTube, I'm not sure how all this stuff works. How is the weapon arsenal for this? Are you limited to certain stuff? I mean, you can pick whatever you want. I'm assuming I can use that if I want. But he's a swordsmith. That's the thing with Geralt. Like, is that the one that I had equipped? No. Okay. So, it's it's designed around you having swords and stuff. This is just a common, like, regular axe. Sai has now earned the, the moniker Mud Crab. She did it to herself. She can't blame anyone else for that. <laughs> Welcome back, Sai. I mean, there's a huge, there's a huge array of weaponry available. Apparently, though, the game is designed around the fact that the witch equipment is the best. The witch gear, I should say, is the best for every sort of at, at a certain level. If you get the Witcher equipment for that level, it will be the best. Ooh, herbs. It's just it's not always straightforward to find it. Ah, uh, this is interesting. That's what I love about this game. You just find random stuff, you know. Just money. Random bits of money. What's this? Ooh, bear hide. Yes, please. I love the way you can just quite happily carry around like 20 bear hides. And he thinks nothing of it. Yeah, I just, just picked up 50 garden rakes. Yeah, just walking around with those. They will fit in my backpack for some reason. There's a small village up here. Let's see what this is all about. Um, that's a skull. That is a red skull, and I'm gonna run. These guys are gonna kick my ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that sort of you're limited, you're, you're artificially, artificially limited. You're supposed to be this witcher sort of dude who can do anything. But I suppose there has to be some kind of logical progression in the game. Only Puff calls me mud crab, says Sai. I think it's catching on, though. This is interesting. The water level here is, like, this probably isn't interesting to anyone who isn't me. I'll be fair. Uh, the water level here is considerably higher than the lakes down here. It's a curious bit of design, though. I'm assuming there's some kind of waterfall somewhere, but I'm not motivated to find it. Yet. As usual, beautiful scenery. It's one of the advantages to playing this on PC, really, is uh, it doesn't look anywhere near as. It looks great on console, but, uh, you know, nothing like this. And also the interface as well, you know. There's a lot of things you can do with the interface on a PC that you just can't do on the console, and it, and it loads a lot quicker. Loading times are pretty horrendous from what I've seen of people playing this on console. Any shortcuts? This is the world edge. Okay. See, that's annoying because I'm going straight... Ah, oh, I've done it again. I'm going straight towards my target here. They could have done with putting that on the map where the, where the world ends.
We're still only about halfway there as well, which is crazy. Valen is that big. And don't forget there's two entirely new areas for the DLC as well when we get there, but we're level 11 right now. Look at that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Vanity. I love it. That is just amazing. Yeah, we're level 11 right now, and it's the, the, the DLCs are starting the level 30s-ish, if you want them to. And those are two separate areas. I mean, I, I don't know if they'll be on the scale of Valen. And you're all on fire. Oh. I can't... I can't counter those sort of attacks because they're uh, out. Do you mind? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, the guys that attack with the really long weapons. Oh, you're going to lose your... Oh, no, sliced his entire torso in half. Nice. That's pretty grim. Yeah, so you, like with the, with the larger weapons that they use, you can't, you can't actually counter those. You have to get out of the way. There should be some kind of treasure around here somewhere. Nope. Strange. Okay. Uh, my sword is damaged as well. I'm not sure if I've got any repair kits on me. No. 49% as well. That's pretty bad. I haven't actually... I'm pretty sure I've hit... So there's a 2% chance to freeze on this sword. I'm pretty sure I've hit someone more than 50 times and they haven't actually frozen. I love the way he comments on the fact that it's going to rain. Uh, yeah, that's, it's fairly it's fairly obvious. I know what rain is as a player. Too much exercise this side. What exercise have you been doing? Doesn't sound like a gamer sort of thing to do. You're missing DLC, which ones do you need? I am not, High <laughs> Priest. But, uh, but thank you very much for the offer, I really appreciate that. Uh, I have picked up both pieces of DLC already, uh, in anticipation. Mainly because uh, there's a fabulous uh, YouTuber called uh, Super Bunny Hop, George Weedman. He is, um, he's brilliant. He loves to do these long videos that go through the lore and the history behind certain games. Uh, the Witch is one of them. So, having watched that and um, the plot of Hearts of Stone and uh, Blood and Wine expansions, it's, it's motivated me to sort of pick those up and, you know, ready to play. Because here's the thing with the DLC, is I didn't know how it would work, you know. Some games, like, for example, I, I referenced Neverwinter Nights 2 quite a lot here. But Neverwinter Nights 2, with the, with, with the expansions, you could actually start you could immediately level up to the level where you could play the expansions if you wanted to. Whereas this is this is actually you can start a fresh game and just dive straight into the DLC. But what I've done is I've just added it to my current game. I like the fact they're giving you the option. So while I could go and do it now, I would get my ass handed to me because it's level you know thirty or whatever. We're not actually that far away now from the first of these shrines. I picked this quest up ages ago. Dance in some Wii Sports. Excellent. <laughs> I put my time into Wii Sports. It's like the best selling game of all time, I think. Wii Sports. Pretty much because it was with every Wii. And that was the genius of the marketing behind the Wii, is, um, it's your second console, you know. When those consoles came out, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox, what was it, 360, they, they were really expensive. So you had to make a choice. But with the Wii, you didn't, you know. It was kind of like, just get one as well, if you had enough money. But it wasn't a huge investment. And a lot of people did just that, you know. Nintendo deal pretty much exclusively in their own sort of stuff, or at least they do these days. Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Galaxy, various... Ow! Ow! 
various Wii sort of related games. Can you not? Bloody wolves. Lost your nerve. Uh, you know, because they're not you're not likely to get a call of duty on the Wii. And that's probably a good thing. These wolves are actually quite difficult. I mean, one thing with the wolves is the, the loot cells. You get wolf skin or pelt or whatever it's called. Sell for quite a lot. Oh, here's the shrine just here. Oh, look at these vandals. This one too. Bloody English football fans have obviously been past here. Does my bum look big in this, Law? Always looks big, mate. Yeah, I really like tennis. We sports tennis was um, was pretty epic. Like, I I kind of wish they had two modes. I kind of wish they had the sort of simplistic one, and then they went into a more detailed one. I don't know what was possible with the original Wii controller, but it just felt like once you got to a certain level, and I'm talking, it took me a lot, a long time to get to that level, but you get to a certain level and sort of you can have a rally with somebody who's really good and it, it would last it would last for you know 10 minutes at a time alright so just one more of these shrines then these shrines aren't actually that far apart 15% battery remaining, remaining what are you watching on High Priest? Yeah, a lot of people going on about Akami as well, so I've heard a lot about that, I've heard great things about it. I mean, there's whole genres and series of games that I've never actually... Oh, hello. I've never actually just explored, you know? Uh, That's a bit of a dodgy bit of map. I'm pretty sure you're not... You haven't eaten that many Big Macs, look. I'm pretty sure you can get through there, Geralt. Ghouls. And where there's ghouls usually corpses. Okay, well apparently this is a contract. You know what, I'm gonna do that contract unless it's like level a million. Uh that's not what I wanted. What was it called? Uh that's a level two twenty two contract. I think we'll come back to that one. Yeah, I don't want to get my ass kicked. It's strange though because like you, you associate, uh, you know, modern role-playing games, you associate an area with a specific level, you know, and uh, all the level seven things will be in this area. But it's not like that in this. You know, the contracts could be a really high level, but everything else around could be quite low. There's Call of Duty on Wii U. I'm really surprised they did that because Nintendo's supposed to be this family-friendly, you know. Oh, we only make games where people splatter each other with paint. Interesting um, Jim Quisition as well, another YouTuber, Jim Sterling. I'm going to take a screenshot of this because I'm very vain. Um, J Jim Sterling does a show called The Jim Quisition uh, where he sort of tackles modern gaming issues and things. And he was saying, you know, how far can you go with video game violence? Every single game basically relies on violence to... Uh, Huh. Must be a cave entrance around here. I am sort of motivated to find that. Not that motivated. Never mind. We can always come back to that. And, he, and he's saying, you know, how many games don't rely on violence to tell a good story? Not many, you know? What else can you substitute it with? What... The, the main protagonist in a lot of video games are oh, someone's murdered your brother or something, you know, and like that that's the reason you have to go on a, a hundred hours of killing people. Oh, High Priest watching on his phone. Fair enough. You might you might say why have I not got the horse? Um It's a good question. I just can't be bothered to press the X button and find it. That that I like that. 
texture quality is great. It's the way the bump mapping sort of it makes it stand out. It really you it's probably just a flat surface in terms of the game engine, but it makes it feel like it's it's you know, little things like that. Make it feel like it's cut rock. And you notice you only get that on the gradient as well. Once we get down here to the sort of the flatter stuff, that sort of goes away and they've they've really paid attention to the map design. Like we're back, we're back onto, and you you would get that, you know, the the rock itself would be cut away because the uh, the carts or whatever would be would be grinding against the the ground, trying to struggle for grip. My weapon is indeed damaged. I need to eat some raw meat. Oh, hello. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? <laughs> Because we're the ones the destroying them. Of lightning, heavy drops from leaden clouds, unleashed. The lightning's name shall be Overman. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods. The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains. The dying embers of superstition that arms. I'm taking his side because he said wrath he instead of wrath. You got to clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The yes, yes. Dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. I like that. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting <coughs> Leave and don't Excuse come me. back. Oh what? Or I'll tell on you to the headmistress. No. Repression! Attack the system's lackey! Well... It's going to violence again then, isn't it? Uh... You might want to get your sword out, Geralt. It's just an idea there. Come on, come closer. I like that. Religion. Yeah, damn it. Why is he not attacking when I'm pressing attack? Can I not actually attack with this sword? What the hell's going on? Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Religion is the opiate of the masses. Come at me. Too slow. And burn. Why does everything have to end in violence? That's why I like games like um, Renowned Explorer.